Today is uh, Saturday, November 3rd, and today we are going to be discussing um, some training runs and introducing the dogs that I am currently in training for this year's Iditarod and two other mid-distance races. This is Mick. Mick is around four years old and he is a very great wheel dog. A lot of power, very strong. Um, kind of one of our cheerleaders. He barks a lot um, when we stop and before we're ready to hook up and stuff. He's, he's kind of a, yeah, I guess I would say the cheerleader. Always ready to go, always get a lot of energy. Right, Mick? Last year he pretty much uh, sat idle. He had a little bit of attitude problem on the trail and stuff, so I had him neutered and it seemed to change his attitude a lot. So uh, he's now fixed and this year he seems to be working out very well. Um, GB used him in the 2011 I did a rod and made it all the way to, I think it was White Mountain and then he let him go after that. But uh, I think he's gonna be a very, very good dog for um, this year's races and um, future ones after that. I like to stand on my feet all the time, don't you? That's one of his things, he likes to stand on your feet. <laughs> right? Always. Hmm? And this one here is Pancho. Um, not quite sure exactly the age on him. I'm thinking about five or six years old. Might be a little bit older. Um, another great dog. Uh, he is Mick's partner in wheel. And he's also pretty much, he's kind of our loudest dog in the team, I would say, our biggest cheerleader. Um, always wants to run, uh, very strong, great great wheel dog. Um, him and make, uh, Mick make a great team. And last year he was idle also, didn't use him that much. Um, had some injuries here and there, so I figured I'd just give him a whole year off. And this year he seems to be just like he was back in 2011. So um, he has one dog that did finish um, the I did, did a rod in 2012 with GB and he made it the whole way. So we gave him a break for last year and this year he's back in training and uh, seems just strong as can be. I'm always talking to him. I probably talk to my dogs more than I do with people. Feeding time, hooking them up. They're just going along socializing with each one of them. I kind of just have a one-on-one -on -one with each one of them. And at first they're a little wild. And then once they remember who I am from the winter time, then they kind of all are like, okay, this is our boss now and we got to you know, make sure we listen to him. And this is five-year-old Tundra. And I'm currently working with him on training lead. Uh, super great dog. Uh, he's got a little injury on his uh, left eye here. He got in a little fight with his brother. And we're getting that back up to where you should be, right? I'm trying to get him to uh, run lead. Um, he gets distracted a little bit here and there. Uh, but he is, he is a good lead dog. Super friendly. Um, always wanting to pull. Great eater. Ran him in all my races last year, all my qualifiers, and finished each each one of the qualifiers. Um, it's really strong and everything. So he'll be up for this coming year's races, and he should he should do really really well. Had him inside the last couple of days to get his eye back up to normal, right? Yeah, I know. And this is Bernie. And he is uh, five years old also, and he is Tundra's brother. Um, kind of been having him in lead or swing. Um, he does good pretty much anywhere in the team. Um, always strong, super friendly, um, good eater. Um, used him for all my qualifiers, and he won, did very well in all of them. Very good, strong dog. Face the camera, Burns. Yeah. And this is th three-year-old Charlie, and he's named after me. Um, still a little bit kind of wild. Um, got him in training for this year's races. Um, he pretty much set out last year. Um, had a couple injuries, and I'm hoping that this year he could kind of uh, adapt to the team and uh, do just as well as the other members of the team. So it's Charlie, three years old, still kind of a, still kind of got a lot of puppy in him. Um, 
sometimes hard for him on the trail just to kind of get focused. He's still kind of looking around and kind of just not, not focused all the way. So I'm trying to break that of him. Um, kind of always crying a lot and trying to uh, play around instead of, instead of running. So, but I got a, kind of a lot of work to do with him. I really want him to uh, make a team and, and be part of it. I think the, the mom was Ava and Mick. Mick was the father. He's got uh, Denali and Lisa. So there was uh, three out of that litter. And the sibling's a little bit better than he is, so. <laughs> but he's, so far this year, he's, he's been doing well. So I uh, haven't had any problems with him. It's still kind of early in our training and stuff, but uh, he should work out well.